It's opening day rifle. Got out of work early. It's November 8th, right? Yeah, I think so. Ninth. It's opening day rifle. I know that. So, heading in to where I've been playing around a bunch. I know the area really, really well. There's a rifle shot. It's like a war zone in here. We're gonna run around the woods. So I'm gonna, the plan is, is I get up on the ridge. It's 12.45 right now. Get up on the ridge, play around. And then I'm gonna go set that saddle for the last three hours, two hours. There's another shot. Sounds like he, he's hitting it. Cause usually you don't get two shots that far apart unless it's wounded or you're just shooting through a clear cut or something. But anyways. Let's try to get us to shoot one, but anyways, so yeah, it's cold that cooled down a lot finally. Thank you, Lord. So, deer are moving. Oh, there's another shot. He's either, hmm. anyways, um, yeah, so that's the plan. We're gonna go kill one. Saddle's great. I made mock scraping it a couple nights ago, but there's a wicked trail. Found a fresh rub. It's a golden spot. It's a golden ticket if you had, like, if I had a whole week, I'd drive around. If I had the patience, I'd sit it and I'd kill a deer. It's that good. So, we're gonna try to get up there. Catch you when we get up there. Try to show you some sign or something like that. Rolled them over backwards, but I don't know how good of a hit. Like, he took off, but there's blood. There's blood. I couldn't tell how big he was. I had it in my scope for five, six, seven minutes. He chased a doe in. Oh, no way. All right, I got, I got, I got to get on this deer. I don't know what to do. I'm running on daylight. my papa's jacket <laughs> I've killed the last three good bucks with it he passed away this fall during bow season the night 
The night he passed away, I missed the biggest buck I've ever seen in New Hampshire with my bow at 10 yards. Monster, right? I told my papa I was going to shoot a deer in his jacket this year. And I just did on opening day in New Hampshire. And I know there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be like, you're crying. I'm going to tell you something. The older you get, the more and more you respect these beautiful creatures. And the more and more you realize you're not out here to kill. You're out here for the challenge and the love of the woods and the sportsmanship of these animals in these woods. I love deer so much. I put so much time into watching them, studying them, and not just to kill them because I love them. Their creation is everything. God created these animals. All of God's creation is beautiful. I'm going to walk up and show you guys the deer I just shot. I didn't get on film. His rack's better than I thought. So is his body. I was just telling the group chat, I haven't seen one deer with muzzle in my hand this year. I just shot an absolute pig again. God has blessed me year after year after year. Yeah, I hunt hard, but God has blessed me so much. What a dandy voice. What an absolute dandy. I didn't think he was that big. He's not my biggest by any means, but holy smokes. I'm freaking out. Oh, what a beautiful buck. He gr I have a video of me saying, I think there's deer coming in. Not two seconds after I shut that off, I he I see it. I pull up, it's a doe. And it's sitting there, sitting there. Probably three or four minutes go by. I can tell it's, I'm watching it, it's trying to win me. I hear behind it, way heavier sounding. And I go, that's a buck. Not only is that a buck, but I said, it sounds heavy. And all of a sudden I hear, yeah. I'm like, <gasps> I tried, I was going to pull my phone out just as I do that. I'm going to pull my phone out. I see his head pop out in the opening 150 yards away. I go, no, nope. Phone is not coming out. As much as I want to, I had one opening, one opening. Five, six minutes go by. That dude goes, whoo, whoo, starts walking away. He turns his head to kind of turn away. I lean right. I said, that's 150 yards, but guess what? I know my rifle. I shoot my rifle a lot before season. Put it right in the back of the neck. Saw him flip over backwards. Saw the belly. And then I run up. Nothing, dude. I saw hair and a little blood. I got nervous. that I was trying to grab my phone to videotape. Oh, my gosh. Pretty confident this deer is related to the one I shot two years ago. Because that deer is related to the one I shot two years ago. All right, I'm freaking out. I gotta shoot firing shots because someone I know is hunting down the ridge. I have absolutely no idea how this is gonna come out. None, but I'm solo today. I've hunted hard this year. Put a lot of time in the woods, haven't seen a lot of deer. I missed the biggest buck I've ever seen in my bow this year, but I just uh, made up for it with this beautiful 10 pointer. Absolute beauty. Sit in the saddle. Chasing a doe. It's usually when they fall, when they mess up is when they hit a doe. Let's go, boys. Holy smokes. Woo! 
I know he's heavy because he don't drag down. Even going downhill, he ain't the lightest deer. We'll see. Boy, I put a wicked shot on him. <clears throat> Pack service ain't gonna like it, but. Is what it is, I guess. <laughs> Woo! Holy smokes, dude. It's my first dry ground good one. We'll see what he weighs. He's around 190. 201, something like that. I don't know. We'll see. I'm guessing 195 ish. <laughs> Dragging my deer up for me. Life's good. Oh, here you go. Oh. Man, you couldn't even let him get laid first, huh? <laughs> I was, I, I, oh, that's that's that deer. That deer's long. He's over two. He's over two. 208. Oh, Nate, you're not going to believe this. He, okay, he's right where Dad put him. Oh, geez. What is he? 95, no. <laughs> 109, no. 205. Jeez, I'm already oh, let's go. 204. Let's go. Oh, oh my gosh, that's right where I put him too. I said 195 to 205. 205.4. Right, I'll pull the heart. So he's